worth checking out. Someone will be held accountable for this. Must be the elves Briala's people are looking for.
This was no servant. What was he doing here? Does this guy seem out of place to anyone else? Is that the Shallon family crest? What have you been up to, Gaspard? Time to have a word with the Duke. <laughs> Venatory agents! this approach. They're organized. Fancy meeting you here. 
couldn't you be dancing, Inquisitor? What will the nobility say? Ambassador, we meet again. Your reputation for getting results is well deserved. You clean this place out. It will take a month to get all the Tevinta blood off the marble. I came down to save or avenge my missing people. But you've beaten me to it. So, the Council of Errol's emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? He was dead when I arrived. I expected as much. You may have arrived with the Grand Duke, but you don't seem to be doing his dirty work. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers, but killing a council emissary? Bringing to winter assassins into the palace? Those are desperate acts. Gaspar must be planning to strike tonight. Are you sure he's behind this? He was too... Easy going for a man plotting treason. Don't let his charm blind you. He's Olesian. That smile is his mask. I misjudged you, Inquisitor. You might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. You know how to make a sales pitch, Ambassador. I'll give you that. I do, don't I? I know which way the wind is blowing. I'd bet coin that you'll be part of the peace talks before the night is over. And if you happen to lean a little bit our way, it could prove advantageous to us both. Just a thought. More politics and double dealing. Is there anyone here who is not corrupt? There's so much conniving and backstabbing here. Makes me homesick. Inquisitor Travellian. We met briefly. I am Grand Duchess Floriane de Chalon. Welcome to my party. Is there something I can do for you, Your Grace? Indeed you can. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of... A certain person. Come, dance with me. Spies will not hear us on the dance floor. Very well. Shall we dance, Your Grace? I'd be delighted. You are from the Free Marches, are you not? How much do you know about our little war? It 
Doesn't matter where you're from, Your Grace. Everyone knows what's happening in the Empire. I... I often forget about the world outside of the Imperial Court. It took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. Do we both want that, Lady Florian? I hope we are of one mind on this. In times like these, it's hard to tell friend from foe. Is it not, Your Grace? I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspar, and have been everywhere in the palace. You are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. Am the curiosity or the concern to you, Your Grace? A little of both, actually. This evening is of great importance, Inquisitor. I wonder what role you will play in it. Do you even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? An excellent question. I might ask the same of you, Your Grace. In the Winter Palace, everyone is alone. It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. I have seen a few signs to that effect. You have little time. The attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspard before he strikes. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspard's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. We'll see what the night has in store, won't we? You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. It's a relief to do something other than fight demons and horrors. You still face demons and horrors. These ones are simply better dressed. Were you dancing with Duchess Florian? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. The Grand Duchess tried to convince me Gaspard is the traitor, but I'm not sure I buy it. Florian and her brother are as thick as thieves, but she would give him up in an instant to save herself. Then, the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Celine is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed, and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. You have an idea, Leliana. What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes, the best path is not the easiest one. You're asking me to decide what's best for Orlais. More than that, whoever controls the Imperial Throne will affect all of Thavis. You cannot stop Corypheus without a decision. You must support someone, or all is lost. Then we should support Selene. She is the rightful ruler. Why would we say otherwise? Because she led Orlais to this point. I say Gaspard, provided his sister is wrong about him. 
I would suggest Briala. She could bring true peace, not only to the Empire, but also to its elves. This is, however, your decision, Inquisitor, not ours. We came here to save Selene. Then you must not only save her life, but also her empire. That means giving her a victory over both Gaspard and Briala. If there truly is proof Gaspard's in league with Corypheus, that would be a start. What did Duchess Florian tell you? She said Gaspard's mercenary captain is in the royal wing. That he knows about the assassination, which could be a trap. Or a lead. Either way, you should search the private quarters in that wing for clues. Then get me access. And in the meantime, get your soldiers into position. At once. Be careful, Inquisitor. We owe this honor. We are always delighted to speak with you, of course. Her Imperial Majesty is unfortunately occupied at present. If the evening ends favorably for the Empress, how does the Inquisition benefit? Her Imperial Majesty brings the might of the Olysian Empire with her friendship. She is also a respected diplomat and world leader. She can forge alliances for you with Rivain, Antiva, the Underfels. And she throws the best parties. I'd like to know more about the negotiations. What is the Empress trying to accomplish with the negotiations? Peace is her only objective, Inquisitor. Gaspar and Briala are driven by personal ambitions, but those desires threaten the safety of all Olesians. The war must end tonight. We must conclude this to deal with the larger crisis. What's happening with the peace talks now? Things do not look promising. The Grand Duke is as stubborn as always. He will not accept anything but victory in battle. But the night is young, and Her Majesty will do everything she can to persuade him. My investigations turned up something interesting. It concerns the Grand Duke. He's made a lot of threats to the Council of Heralds. The Grand Duke is all talk, Inquisitor. Very loud talk, accompanied by swords. He has never had any skill at the game. Perhaps you could tell me something then. Until next time, Inquisitor. Do take care. Enjoy the masquerade.
power the talks proceeded. Interesting. Are we going to sneak around to look through the Empress's unmentionables now? Just how drunk are you, boss? Are you all right? I'm... I... I don't think I'm hurt. No one's supposed to be here. Briala said... Oh, I shouldn't have trusted her. Briala told you to come to this wing of the palace. Not personally. The ambassador can't be seen talking to the servants. We get coded messages at certain locations, but the order came from her. She's been watching the Grand Duke all night. No surprise she wanted someone to search his sister's room. So this room belongs to Grand Duchess Florian. It used to. This had been her private room in Halam Chiral since she was a child. But this part of the palace was damaged, and the royal family moved to the guest wing. What were you trying to find in Florian's old room? The message didn't say. I should have known it was a setup. Is there anyone else who knows the code and the drop location who could have written those orders? I... I don't know. Any of us could do it, but... No. No one else would send me here. It had to be Briala. This wing is sealed. How did you get in here? Easy. The door was unlocked. One of the others probably handled it. It takes great courage to come to the royal wing unarmed. <laughs> it's not courage to blindly follow Briala's orders into a trap. I knew her. Before. When she was Celine's pet. Now she wants to play revolution. But I remember. She was sleeping with the Empress who purged our alienage. Would you be willing to testify to that, if I asked? Absolutely. If the Inquisition will protect me, I'll tell you everything I know about our ambassador. Most Orlesians would say that's Celine's scandal, not Briala's. Go to the ballroom. Find Commander Cullen. He'll keep you safe. Thank you. Make her protect you, Inquisitor. Inquisitor, what a pleasure. I wasn't certain you'd attend. You're such a challenge to read. I had no idea if you'd taken my baits. 
I fear I'm a bit busy at the moment if you were looking for a dance partner. Yes, I see that. Such a pity you did not save one final dance for me. It was kind of you to walk into my trap so willingly. I was so tired of your meddling. Corypheus insisted that the Empress die tonight, and I would hate to disappoint him. Why kill the Empress? What does Corypheus want to achieve? Selene's death is a stepping stone on the path to a better world. Corypheus will enter the Black City and claim the godhood waiting for him. We will cast down your useless maker and usher in a united world, guided by the hand of an attentive god. You're Orlesian royalty. Why would you help Corypheus attack your empire? You think so small, Inquisitor. Why settle for an empire when Corypheus will remake the entire world? I admit, I will relish the look on Gaspar's face when he realizes I've outplayed him. He always was a sore loser. What exactly is in this for you? <laughs> the world, of course. I'll deliver the entire south of Thedas, and Corypheus will save me. When he has ascended to godhood, I will rule all Thedas in his name. You don't have to go through with this, Florian. There's still time to turn back. Oh, my dear Inquisitor, you are so naive. In their darkest dreams, no one imagines I would assassinate Celine myself. All I need is to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. A pity you'll miss the rest of the ball, Inquisitor. They'll be talking of it for years. Kill him and bring me his marked hand. It will make a fine gift for the Master.
Just his tits. What was all that? Were those demons? There aren't any more of those blasted demons coming, right? Good eye. Those were definitely demons. Maker, bless me. Demons? How could there be demons in the fucking Winter Palace? I knew Gaspard was a bastard, but I didn't think he'd feed me to fucking horrors over a damn bill. Duke Gaspard lured you out here. Well, his sister. But it had to come from him, didn't it? And all that garbage she was spewing doesn't mean anything. Gaspard had to be the mastermind. Your accent sounds Ferelden. I thought you were one of Gaspard's mercenaries. Born and raised in Denerim. Seems like I should have stayed there. The Duke wanted to move on the palace tonight, but he didn't have enough fancy chevaliers. So he hired me and my men. He had to offer us triple our usual pay to come to Orlay. Sticky, punsy cheesemongers. Want a new job? One that pays better? The Inquisition can always use a good mercenary company. You hiring? I'm game. Anything's better than this bullshit. You want me to talk to the Empress, or the court, or sing a blasted song in a chantry? I'll do it. Thank the Maker you're back. The Empress will begin her speech soon. What should we do? Wait here, Cullen. I'm going to have a word with the Grand Duchess. What? There's no time. The Empress will begin her speech any moment. Real 
give the court one more show, Your Grace. Inquisitor. The eyes of every noble in the Empire are upon us, Your Grace. Remember to smile. This is your party. You wouldn't want them to think you had lost control. Who would not be delighted to speak with you, Inquisitor? I seem to recall you saying, all I needed was to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. When your archers failed to kill me in the garden, I feared you wouldn't save me this last dance. It's so easy to lose your good graces. You even framed your brother for the murder of a council emissary. It was an ambitious plan. Celine, Gaspard, the entire Council of Heralds, all your enemies under one roof. This is very entertaining, but you do not imagine anyone believes your wild stories. That will be a matter for a judge to decide, cousin. Gaspard, you cannot believe this. You know I would never... Gaspard? You lost this fight ages ago, Your Grace. You're just the last to find out. Your Imperial Majesty, I think we should speak in private. Elsewhere. Your sister attempted regicide in front of the entire court, Gaspard. You're the spy master. If anyone knew this atrocity was coming, it was you. You don't deny your involvement. I do deny it. I knew nothing of Florian's plans. But you... You knew it all and did nothing. <laughs> I don't know which is better. That you think I'm all-seeing? Or that you're trying so hard to play innocent? And failing? Enough! We will not bicker while Tevinter plots against our nation. For the safety of the Empire, I will have answers. Your captain tells me you spent all night sneaking mercenaries into the palace, Gaspard. You intended to attack. And where did your troops come from, Inquisitor? If sneaking men into the palace is damning, then we are both damned. I found your knife on the dead body of a Council of Heralds emissary in the palace. The Council will not overlook such a horrendous crime, cousin. It would be a horrendous crime, if it were true. But I have done no such thing. By all means, continue to protest your innocence, Gaspar. We find this performance endlessly fascinating. There were also the threats Gaspard made to the Council of Heralds to bully them into giving him the crown. <laughs> Gaspard is a bully. Is that the worst you can say of me? And his mercenary captain will be happy to tell you all their plans for the coup tonight. Thank you, Inquisitor. There can be no doubt of your treason, Gaspard. No, it seems there cannot. In light of overwhelming evidence, we have no choice but to declare you an enemy of the Empire. You are hereby sentenced to death. You have enough proof to dissolve his support for the throne, Your Majesty. You don't need to take his life. As a favor to you, Inquisitor, I will let him live. Gaspar? You are hereby banished from the Empire on pain of death. 
Is that all? You're too kind, Celine. Thank you, Inquisitor, for all your efforts tonight. I owe you my life, and Orlé owes you its future. You have done a service for the Empire never to be forgotten, my friend. This piece is your doing. You truly are the instrument of Andraste. Orlé will never forget your part in this, nor will I. Lords and ladies of the court, the civil war which has plagued us is at an end. The Orlesian Empire is whole again. Those who drove us into war for selfish gain have been dealt with as traitors. Gaspard de Chalon is guilty of treason. He is no longer our cousin and shall never again hold title or land in Orlé. We have lost enough. No more! Now, we can move forward to healing and restoration. In our hour of need, the Inquisition has faced these dangers beside us. It is the honor of Orlé to stand with Andraste's herald to end this crisis. And in ages to come, our children and grandchildren can say that we left them a brighter world. Will you address the court, my friend? Ending the war was the first step. A final goal must be peace for all Thetis. Well said, Inquisitor. We of the court must use our resources. Not every battle is won on the field. But that is tomorrow. Tonight, feast, my friends. Enjoy our victory. There will be many more to come. The Orlesian nobility make drunken toasts to your victory, and yet you are not present to hear them. Do you tire so quickly of their congratulations, Inquisitor? It is most fickle, after all your efforts on their behalf. I would have stayed, but the punch ran dry. Scandalous. <laughs> Indeed. Let us see if you take this piece of news as poorly. By Imperial Decree, I have been named Liaison to the Inquisition. Celine wishes to offer you any and all aid, including mine. Congratulations. I had no idea you were interested in joining the Inquisition. The assignment has been given to me, regardless of my personal interest. Celine knows you face an opponent who wields great magical power which is far more important than her own curiosity. You will require my knowledge if you are to defeat such magic. Regardless, Corypheus is a threat to Orle and to myself. Thus, I am not opposed to the appointment. What skills do you have that would benefit us? I have knowledge which falls beyond the realm of most mages. I suspect this is also true of Corypheus, Thus, it behooves you to add to your arcane arsenal, yes? Mundane knowledge will not bring the rift in the sky to a close, after all. When you say knowledge beyond the realm of most mages, do you mean blood magic? I know many obscure, forgotten, and forbidden arts. Some of it you might consider blood magic, yes? Should thought of that frighten you? Allow me to offer reassurance. Knowledge alone does no harm. What I possess, I place at your disposal to make use of or ignore as you desire. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morrigan. A most gracious response. I shall meet you at Skyhold. I can't believe you escaped before me. A fat count insisted on talking about soup for 15 minutes. We can return to Skyhold whenever you like. The sooner the better. Is something wrong? The 
I'm just worn out. The night has been very long. It was a lot of foolishness. But we did strike a blow against Corypheus. We will need to put the soldiers at Skyhold on alert. Better to be safe. Wait. There is one thing we must do before we go. May I have this dance, Lady Cassandra? A dance? After all we've been through tonight? Can you think of a better way to celebrate? I suppose this isn't terrible. The matter is urgent, Lady Josephine. I am well aware of that, revered mother. We will need them to return to Valroyo as soon as possible. There are ceremonies, ordinations. Maker's mercy. That's quite impossible at the moment. However, I will see to this matter as soon as possible. My Lord Inquisitor. Please, may I have a word with you? How may I assist you, revered mother? With the political turmoil put to rest, our minds turn to a single question. The next divine. We cannot answer it without the left and right hands of divine Justinia V. I have already told you, revered mother. Lady Leliana and Sikar Cassandra cannot be spared from their duties. But surely with the support of the Empire, the Inquisition will not be harmed by the loss of just two souls. Why do you need Liliana and Cassandra? They were Her Holiness's most trusted advisors. They represent her legacy, her hopes for peace in Thedas. They could rally the Grand Clerics to follow as no candidate from the clergy has been able to. Are the Grand Clerics truly unable to elect a divine? Everyone with the political support to succeed Justinia perished alongside her. Those who remain are unable to gather the majority of votes from the conclave of Grand Clerics. They have been deadlocked for too long. Lady Liliana and Seeker Cassandra were Justinia's most trusted friends and advisors. Our late divine is still held in high esteem. To honor her, the Grand Clerics might support one of them as successor. How long does the Chantry need them? Several months, at least. If one of them is crowned divine, she would not be returning to the Inquisition. Liliana and Cassandra would have to make that decision for themselves. And they certainly will, at a later date. The Inquisitor has only just returned and has important business to attend to. You must excuse us, revered mother. Don't let them detract from your victory at Alam Shiral. We've beaten his wardens and stopped his intrigues. Soon, Corypheus will have no place to hide. Colin is hoping to press our advantage. We'll plan our next attack when you're ready.